Hey everyone, it's Byron the Dragon King, and I'm back here with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about something I've been struggling with pretty much my whole life, as far back as I can remember, this crippling addiction that I've had, and my struggles with it, and how I'm finally moving past. Here we go. So, when I was about four, my cousin, who was a year older than me, told me I should bite my fingernails because he said it was cool and this and that and that way you don't have to trim them I, I don't quite remember his understand like his reasoning but um I just remember being four and going okay Jacob you're cool and I want to be just like you because he's the closest thing I've ever had to an older brother so I started biting my nails at first just to be cool, and then the next thing I know, it just became a subconscious habit of mine that I couldn't even control. And my parents have always hated it. They're, they're always like, Bailey, stop. That's gross. Don't do that. Bailey, stop. It's bad for your teeth. It's bad for your fingernails. Don't do that. Bailey, what's wrong with you? This is why <laughs> we should have given you up for adoption. Bailey, I swear to God, if I catch you chewing on your nails again, I am going to. Yeah, so, and there's been multiple times I've tried to quit biting my nails. I remember my first New Year's resolution when I was 11, I was like, I'm not going to bite my nails anymore. Uh, the issue was, is no matter how much I think about it and I go, I'm not going to do it anymore. It's gross. I don't want to do it. Uh, the next thing I know, I'll just be like doing something else, won't even be paying attention. And my fingernails are gone and my last one's in my mouth being chewed up and it's not like i eat them or anything i like spit them out which is also kind of gross and it's just like fuck dude what the fuck like <laughs> it's like <laughs> the only thing i can think of to compare it to is like if you're trying to quit smoking and like you're just minding your own business and the next thing you know you have a cigarette in your mouth and it's already lit and i don't know i've never smoked and i never plan on smoking and if that's what smoking addiction's like then i understand because holy fuck is this annoying like it's not even like i like doing it or anything it doesn't satisfy me it doesn't like give me a sense of relief it doesn't give me like a high or anything like I don't know, like, I remember when I was, like, 10, my mom asked me, why do you do that? And I'm like, I don't know, mom. I just do it. Like, the only thing I can point to is, like, as I said, my cousin got me doing it, and now I can't stop. It's just something I, I've done, like, my whole life. And it's always annoyed me, and it's annoyed everyone around me because they think it's gross. And, like, honestly, I get it, especially with all the dirt and shit you get got underneath your fingernails. So recently, I've been working on quitting, and what I had to do to prevent myself from chewing subconsciously is I started painting my nails. And <laughs> I don't know, it's been working so far. Like, I've been doing it for like about a month, and my nails look better. They look, they're not like so gross looking. Like, because like when you chew your fingernails, like it doesn't come off like a clean, straight line, like if you clip them. It's, like, all jagged and shit, and, like, sometimes you tear it and stuff, and I used to, like, chew them, like, too short, and then they would hurt for, like, a day, and it sucks, and now that I paint them, whenever, I, like, I go to subconsciously do it, because, like, I'll just do it randomly, I don't even think about it, I'll just be like, oh, what the fuck, what is this weird feeling, and then I'll be like, oh, oh, I shouldn't be doing that, because, like, the feeling of the nail polish on my teeth is just gross, it's, like, a really uncomfortable texture. Yeah, so <laughs> I've been painting my nails. Um, my left hand always, always looks, like, nice and clean because, like, I'm right-handed, but doing my right hand is so hard. Like, I'm just not good with my left hand. Like, I'm not coordinated. That's why I can't play piano. Like, I could play piano with my right hand, but as soon as, like, a music teacher was like, okay, and then with your left hand, you need to do this. Like, my brain just doesn't work like that. And, oh, doing both at the same time, just good luck. That's just so hard. I, I, I don't know how you do it. Like, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it at all, man. So, <laughs> yeah, my right hand always kind of looks a little bit scuffed and a little bit gross. But, like, I don't really care as long as it prevents me from chewing. And since, like... Like I said, since I started clipping it because, like, it grows out, I don't chew it. It looks much straighter and cleaner and nicer. 
and like I even started filing down like the sharp parts after you like clip it so it's like smooth and it's pretty nice I like it it's a nice like relaxing thing to do I normally when I paint my own nails I like will paint and then I'll wait 10 minutes to put on the next layer and while I'm doing that I like watch a YouTube video like I watch like a Tom Dark video or a Larix video or like a Augie RFC stream or something or something or maybe like Netflix I'm currently watching Toradora and that's pretty good even though it's weird for me because like a lot of the cast from Toradora is just like in Gundam IBO and it's just kind of like oh I don't know how I feel about Atra like <laughs> falling in love with a biscuit this is weird man I don't like it yeah and so <laughs> Like, I've been sticking with black when I paint my own nails. Uh, my girlfriend paints them black or blue, and that looks nice. But, like, I bought, like, a bunch... I bought four different things of nail polish. I bought black. I bought clear to put on a clear coat on top just so it lasts a bit longer. And then I bought a purple and a blue. But, like, the purple and blue just never, like, look right. And, like... So I, I'll put, like, just as much as I do on, like, the black... And it'll just look like see-through. It looks like... It, you know what it looks like? It looks like stained glass where you can still, like, see through it. Like, that's transparent, right? I believe so. Transparent is when, like, you can see through it but not clearly. And translucent is when it's, like, glass. Like, like clear glass. I'm pretty sure that's right. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> yeah, but, like... So, it looks, like, gross and, like, see-through and stuff. And, like, the thing is, is that, like, the purple, I put, like, two or three layers on. It started looking good. I put the clear coat on. And it was, like, dry, and it felt dry. It felt fine. And then, like, I rubbed my, like, I think I was, like, itching my thumb or something, and I rubbed the nail. And then, like, oh, like all the nail polish came, just came off. And it was, like, what? That's so gross. And I'm, like, okay, what about my other hand? That one's been drying even longer. Same thing. I could do that with all my fingers. And it was just like, fuck, dude, I'm just going to take it all off, and then I'll just paint it black. That was how I painted my nails black for the first time. And then just yesterday, I was repainting my nails because, like, they were real chipped. So I, I got the nail polish remover out, I took off the nail polish, and then I put the blue on. And I was like, this isn't looking good. This reminds me of how the purple went. I'm going to just take this off and put black. And I was able to take all the nail polish off with just a paper towel. I didn't even, like... I didn't even have to use, like, nail polish remover or anything. It was just, like, I rubbed my fingernail on the paper towel, and it just came right off. And it, <laughs> before you ask, the reason I don't use, like, a cotton like a cotton ball is I just don't have any, and I just didn't buy any. Because at the time when I bought the nail polish, I was kind of broke. And I was just trying to buy some nail polish to, like, prevent myself from biting my nails. Because, like, my girlfriend started doing it. And then it was all really chipped, and I was like, oh, man, I can start seeing the ends of my fingernails. If there's nothing there, there's nothing to stop me, so I need to go and get some nail polish. And, you know, the stuff I bought, it was on clearance, and, like, I had seen this stuff when I worked at Walmart, and I used to, like, stock the nail polish department, like, all the time, which is such an annoying department to stock, because, like, normally when you're at Walmart, and you're like stocking, it'll say what set, like it'll say what aisle it's in, what section in the aisle. And there's normally, like, depending on the aisle, there's anywhere between eight and like 18 sections. And then, like, if you scan it, it'll tell you like what number sticker on the shelf it is. Nail polish doesn't say that. You have to figure that shit out on your own. And that only comes with like experience. So, like, the first time you do the nail polish section, God help you, because if you're a guy like me who had never painted their nails before and ever bought nail polish, you're just not going to find it. You're going to like be sitting there like looking at the number on the top of the nail polish, being like, okay, 990, okay, and then you're looking around, looking around, look at the brand, look around, oh, there it is. That only took me like a minute and a half. Yeah, so like I'd seen this stuff all the time when I worked at Walmart, so I thought it was fine. I think it's called, like, Hard as Nails or something, and, like, I bought, like, all of the same brand. The black works fine. The black is great. The black doesn't come off like the purple or the blue does. I don't know why. Maybe, like, it's a different kind of nail polish. Like, I think my girlfriend said the black is matte, and, like, the blue and purple are more... I forget the word she used, but, like, it's different. It's more shiny or something. I don't know. I'm not knowledgeable on the subject, so, like, maybe that's it, or maybe, like, I just 
bought some really cheap nail polish and like I made sure to shake it. I made sure to like put like thin even coats on. I just don't know what's wrong. Like it feels dry to the touch, just like the black does, or just like the other nail polishes that my girlfriend's used when she's painted my nails, and it's fine, and I just don't get it. So I guess like I'm gonna <laughs> have to find some better stuff so that way I don't have to keep dealing with this, you know? Anyways, guys, I think I've rambled long enough about this. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any like suggestions on nail polish I should buy, anything that would like not come off super easily and like looks good uh leave it down below I, i'm not super like what's the word i'm not super like picky when it comes to colors that's not the word i was looking for i was looking for something else but like right now i've only used black and like blue because that's just like what like has been available to me but like i'm okay with like any color really i don't really give a shit and i don't really care what anyone thinks about my fingernails like <laughs> like i don't know man but yeah just if you have any brands or like types of fingernail polish that you think is like good and won't come off like that let me know in the comments down below and just comment in general how you thought this video was if you liked this video leave a like if you disliked this video leave a dislike and if you want to watch more videos like this i have a whole fucking playlist on my channel and this will be the 13th video on that playlist so you get like fuck that's like two hours of content at least of just me rambling on about different shit i don't know man maybe you're into that anyways if you liked this uh think about subscribing and i'll see you guys in the next video uh good night